In 2014, in a small town on the south coast of Devon, a major storm left one of the main railway lines connecting Devon and Cornwall to the rest of the country out of action. Since then, BAM and Network Rail have been working in collaboration to use innovative engineering to repair the seawall as sustainably and with as little impact on the local community as possible. It was a storm that left a lasting impact on the town of Dawlish. A night of strong winds and huge waves had washed away a section of the seawall to leave the railway line suspended in mid-air. The job to rebuild and strengthen the defences here would be complex and ambitious. There's probably no other project in the country where you've got the sea on one side, a railway and then a town. Just getting things onto the project has been tricky. We've had to specially design uh, our access routes, bespoke trailers, all the pieces of precast that we've got on the site have been sized just to bring them underneath the railway. And then from kind of the, the large excavators and pieces of plant that we've got on site, we have to bring them in by boat. The concrete itself, we've got to pump on this particular phase. The longest pump is 180 meters. Not many other projects are doing that type of kind of pump distance in the environment that we're doing. So the biggest problem has been logistics. And then you throw the sea into that as well, where every single shift you come in and the sea's potentially dumped a thousand tons of sand on top of the work that you were doing the other day. It just becomes a day-to-day -day fight really against nature. BAM's use of innovative engineering has also seen this self-propelling jack-up barge brought in to deliver piling work safely on the shore side. It's known as the Wave Walker for its crab-like movement, and it's the first time it's been used in a railway project. In terms of the projects you're involved in, I guess this may not be the biggest, but it's certainly one of the most complex. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, uh, you can uh, you see the environment that we're having to work in as well. But also... John Wilkinson is the Chief Operating Officer for BAM in the UK and Ireland. And he told me the company prides itself on bringing collaboration, innovation and sustainability to every project it undertakes. These types of projects are not done very often in the UK. So it's only by bringing that intelligence across our supply chain, designers working very, very closely with our client network rail, that we can come up with a solution that is going to protect this coastal town for years to come. I think the other side of this is actually, you know, quite uniquely being innovative around our solutions. And that's not just about the materials that we use, but it is about how we size those materials so that we can work from the beach or we can work with the wave walker. And then the third part around sustainability, you know, life cycle asset is all about quality of construction, ease of maintenance and hopefully a lack of um, intrusion into the structure through its design life. Even on a moderately windy day, the power of the waves is clearly visible. But this new seawall is designed to protect the station and the town from the worst that the weather can throw at it for the next 100 years. And building resilience to climate change and rising sea levels is a key priority for Network Rail. We need to build structures here, particularly in this environment, that are robust enough to cope with the weather. And the new structures we've put in got much better drainage, they're much stronger. The platform we're standing on now was previously a wooden structure. This one is a lot more robust. BAM have introduced some low carbon concrete here, which has helped to reduce the impact of this project. It also helps efficiencies in projects if people are actually working together properly, which they have done here, as far as I'm concerned. The railway through Dawlish and the town itself are better protected now the new, bigger seawall is nearing completion. It's a major infrastructure improvement that will benefit local communities, the environment and the wider economy for generations to come.